the Chola legacy of the Philippines did not just end with the Rajanate of Cebu. Azatupas being defeated by the Spaniards in 1565. The protagonist of this Chola history of the Philippines, Sri Lumai, had three other lineages besides the Rajanate of Cebu. Ajanit was written by Abelana based on the folklore passed on through generations by his ancestors. Similar analogy would be folklore of the Raza Desingu or Tej Singh of Hindi in parts of Tamil Nadu. Going back to the history, Sri Lumai had four sons while the Rajanate of Cebu traces the lineage to two of his sons, Sri Banting and Sri Paran. Rajanate of Cebu did not occupy the entire Cebu island. The territories included primarily the region around Singpala. Sri Alho, another son of Sri Lumai, ruled parts of southern Cebu. Sri Upog ruled northern Cebu. Effectively, the Cebu island was divided among the three sons with territories corresponding to the north, central and south Cebu. The fourth son, Sri Param, had infirmity and was not given a region to rule but his son, Raja Tupas was the last king of the Rajanate of Cebu. The lineage of Sri Alho became the rulers of Rajanate of Butua. History is lost on how the Rajanate of Butua was established. The Butua itself is a region in northern Mindanao. Ferdinand Magellan annexed this Rajanate into the Spanish kingdom in 1521 after a blood compact called Sandugo. The last Raza was Raja Siago. Raza Colombo, son of Sri Uko, was also part of the blood compact. Thus, ended the Rajanate of Butua in a meek fashion. Bohol Island has an interesting landscape with chocolate hills and beautiful rivers such as Lobok today. In 1621, the descendant of Sri Banting, Tamblot who some associate him to be a Babilo or a spiritual leader led the riots. The people of this region practice a mix of animist and Hindu religions. Their gods were called Devathas the word being a derivative from the Sanskrit word of Devta. The Spanish source, Historia, written by Medina states that the Tamblot won a spiritual duel with the Spanish Catholic priest and attributes it to the work of demons. But the point to note here is that the incident where Tamblot won the spiritual duel against a Catholic priest was quoted by another Catholic priest, Medina, in his letter. The revolt began on the day when the Jesuits were in Cebu, celebrating the feast day of Saint Francis Xavier. Don Juan de Alcarazo landed with about 100 plus Spanish soldiers and about 1000 plus Subbu native soldiers on the New Year Day of 1622. After six days of hiking the mountains, the Spanish force encountered Tamlot and his rebels who fought valiantly. The arquebuses of the Spaniards played havoc against Tamlot's soldiers but the rebels held on until most fell. The English translation of a snippet of Madinah's letters quotes that the warriors of Tamblot fought bravely doing justice to the legacy of the Cholas. Tamblot himself might have fallen in the final stages of the uprising. Though other sources attribute that he was assassinated by the Catholic priests who sneaked into his camp, which made it easier for the Spaniards to crush the uprising. Today Tamblot is recognized as a hero by the province of Bohol along with another Chola descendant, Datu Sittuna. These two heroes are represented in their provincial flag. Datu means chieftain in those parts of the world. Datu Sittuna signed a blood compact with Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the Spanish governor who defeated the King Tupas of Rajanate of Cebu in 1565. The year of the blood compact was 1565-2. Today Datu Sittuna blood compact was recognized as the Philippines' first international peace treaty. Inspired by his clan member, Tamblot, another chieftain, Banco, a descendant of Sri Upo, son of Sri Lumai started the uprising at an age of 75 along with his sons. The chieftain, Bangkok was ruling the island of Limaswa and few other regions in South Leyte. 
He was converted to Christianity in 1565 by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Encouraged by the Babylon or spiritual advisor, Pagli, he returned to his original faith and built a temple for Devathas. He was joined in the rebellion by his two sons and a daughter. Alarmed at this apostasy, the parish priest, Melchor de Vera, traveled to Subhu and informed the regional magistrate, Don Juan de Alcarazo, about the uprising. Alcarazo with Spanish and Subhu soldiers in 40 vessels invaded the region. In the ensuing battle, Bangkok and one of his sons were killed. They were beheaded and their heads displayed in the pikes as a warning to the rest of the population. Another son and a daughter were sent into slavery along with the rest of the rebels. <laughs>